I'm Daily Fix and welcome to the 12th part of our Unworthy Entrepreneur series. Now, I've been doing some off camera work, uh, and mainly what I've done, you can see my money dropping down all the way from over here, is I decided to start adding weapons and shields to all of my stations. Uh, let's pause the game because it's actually obnoxious at getting all of that traffic and call messengers. So yeah, that is a quite a big thing to get started with. Now, of course, we are here with the Taladi trading station where the faction manager as well is, or the faction representative. I want to look into getting larger storage because we are actually getting to that point where small containers are just not going to fly anymore. So let's get back into first person view. Let's get into the position for the faction representative. So uh, let's, while we travel over there, let's talk about what my goal would be for today's episode. Well, one is we'll start building the medical supplies factory. And if we can manage to actually get that built during today's part, then we, well, we actually did our initial goal and that was building it out all the way to medical supplies. So that is a good thing. That brings up a an option for a new secondary purpose and I kind of will need your assistance with that. What would you like me to achieve in the next Hello. following few parts? We could say, well, we want to generate a 10 million an hour income or you are going to be generating an X amount of supplies, stuff like that, or you're going to be building towards getting hull parts. Now, there's another thing that we can do. Because we, well, we have the medical supplies, there is still food. And food by itself, I need to say, what was the food? Was that no strop oil? Uh, no. Actually, spice, sunflower, yeah, no strop oil. This is the food, I think. Yes, this is where we could go in as well. And this will bring us to another thing. We could start adding a population to base. You know, have that bit of a role play aspect in it. So in the future, we will not build bases that don't have, uh, say, 100% personnel. Or... Uh, that don't, we don't build stations anymore that don't have weapons and shields because actually, you know, it's kind of stupid not building stations with defenses, right? So those things that, that's something we can look into. Also, while things are building, I want to get started with the initial quest that we took up when we started this, getting the POS, and that is the Alliance Invitation. We are going to be going towards the Boron. I think that's cool because Kingdom End is the DLC that I probably played least due to, well, me getting a burnout of it. So, yeah, it's, it's actually new territory for me. And that is, for me, quite exciting. So, I think that would be nice. Now, for a, another goal, I'm going to be counting on you again. Hopefully, this time we'll get some feedback in it. I know this is a game people really love. Just having on the background while doing... I don't know. I don't think my voice is very smoothing. So I probably guess you're not sleeping with me active on your television, I think. However, uh, some people actually do love the sounds of the games. And that's me yapping through it, of course. So let's take a look how expensive it's going to be. Also, license. Do I have the police license? I do. 16 million, that's a bit much for a Good trade product. license. I would love to get one, though. Let's take a look at storage. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm a dumb I actually bought them. Yeah, I did buy them. Cool. That is absolutely... Yeah, that's actually fantastic. Uh, might as well get the... Small liquid container. Because I see no reason not to. And then we might as well get the no-strop oil, right? I think... We should be able to get an entire base up and running for that. Hmm, yeah. 
But I already get that as well, and I'm having a huge brain fart. Uh, where the hell is it? Don't tell me it is going to be with the Ministry of Finance. No, it is. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. That's stupidly expensive. That is stupidly expensive. Whoa, 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 whoa. To you. Let's check that out again. Let's not do that. Let's not type. Me and typing is just not good. Uh, no strop, no strop, no, da, 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 da. no strop oil. It's no stop. No, it's no strop. We have energy. We have spices. We have sunrise flowers. We have water. It's actually not that stupid to do this. You can see that the the amount of goods used to generate five hundred is is just it's it's not thing. And I could see a small fleet of small transport ships uh, doing all of this. I don't think the medium ships will actually suffice. Um, because, you know, it, it, I want to have pilots doing a lot of tasks, a lot of flying, you know, you just get get supplies, sell supplies, get supplies, sell supplies. You know, the, the better, the, the higher amount of successful flights a pilot does will contribute to its experience as a pilot, leveling them up. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to buy the small, but I am actually going to be buying the nose drop oil. So, yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's going to be expensive. What is my cash right now? 1.8, that is enough for all of my freighters to actually get going. I want to buy a blueprint. Let's go to production. And then it is the nose drop oil. There we go. And let's get out of here before I, uh, I change my mind and reload. <laughs> Actually, Hello. I need you to level up. So I'm gonna. Have a, I have a task for you. While we build that new base, yeah, you can say, well, you don't have money anymore, right? No, well, we can take that away from stations. Like it's not like they will, you know, get everything they need. So let's go over here, dock and wait over there. Hopefully, by the time we get ready, uh, some of these will be built and it seems like it is a problem turret shields and advanced electronics it seems like none of the stations are getting that okay 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 uh you know it's fine did i queue up that order i did uh do we need to say that you need to start doing the order or are you going to be doing it by yourself No? Uh, let's help out a bit. Because undocking for the uh, NPC. Oh, that's, that's, that's fun, guys. That is fun. Alright, let's go. I uh, also uh, made the torpedoes inactive because I... I to drop my car. Uh, yeah, and there's another change I've made. So you can now see that this guy asking what to do is called the Tree Point Taladi fill shortages um it was actually getting quite annoying to find out who it was now we know it is this fella who is being harassed by this pillager so i'm going to tell you to let's take a look there's no security nearby let's escape so press F and go escape. And now we're going to be cancelling that. What will you do? Okay, he is going in, right? He is moving away. Let's dock and wait over there. Please help me remember that I did that. Otherwise, it's going to be quite obnoxious. Let's get out. You. You go level up, please. Alright, let's take Can a look. I if help? we talk to you, uh, proceed with navigation. current orders, that navigation. Yeah, let's go. And we will dive. I'm thinking, do we want it over here? Prepare to dock. Confirmed. Requesting we need to energy. Dock. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. 
That's stupid of me. I actually had that other one still queued up. Yeah, I can't stop them. That's a bit annoying. Oh, well, it is what it is. Affirmative. I think we'll start building it over here. There is not a lot of traffic going on. And we need water. We need the uh, spice. And the energy will come from over here. I think this is a perfect location to actually set up a another base. So, new plot. Uh, let's do it two by two by two. We'll just drop it... See, this is really much like on the the line there we the go will be undocking soon. that's great you go undock please let's buy the license and let's continue so the medical supplies and this is the taladi ones uh you do need to keep that in mind there is different uh medical supplies that being made like different ingredients and the taladi uses the spice and you know every faction has its own thing that it will create for sunrise flowers stuff like that so yeah we have all of this this is going to be great it does look we only need container storage i'm going to assuming a medium uh will actually be enough let's remove you let's go and build up that cross sir and a three by six while we also get medium container storage right under there and we want to have the medical supplies which has a connection point there on the left well we can just flip this around but we do need to pay attention to what it is that we want to do in the future right so we can still move up create an area over there i think i want to flip this like, or not that, this. Like, horizontally holding shift will actually go by, like, 60. We need it to be 90. Click that up there. And I think this looks uh, relatively nice and easy to expand using crosses. Also, the docking for medium ships is quite easy. Yeah, this looks good. Now, there is a preset over here which we can use the high preset for. However, uh, I've noticed this several times that you can see that a medium 1, medium 4 are not filled up. So we're going to be putting in shard, shield, shard and shield. I don't know why the game doesn't fill up all of these parts. Uh, but it is, uh, it is somewhat annoying. Navigation, right to the following position. <laughs> I love the split for that. Uh, we could set up a loadout like um, full. So we don't have to do it manually. Just every time like we go in here, it's, it's on high preset right now. And we do full, it's completely filled up. Let's confirm that loadout. And let's go to the medical supplies production. And that one is actually filled. So yeah, we do... Keep in mind that some of these modules just don't fill up completely, which is uh, weird. Let's confirm these. The whopping amount of 1.6 million. We can't do that. Uh, let's zoom out. Is there... Zoom out even more. There we go. Let's use the Ministry of Finance. Close this down. Okay, wow. Yeah, we need a lot. 1,400 hull parts. Uh, 1,300 energy shields. Uh, I kind of do want to start using... Like a ship of my own to supply it with its initial construction. Considering... Well, we kind of don't have the money, right? There's 4.5 coming... Or 450,000 coming in. So, eventually, things will be alright. We could also skim, uh, I think, a tiny bit of these stations. I think we kind of do want to do that. So, let's do it like this. Uh, we'll bring that down to, like, a grand. Somewhere in there. 
uh, until we get uh, the right amount. We can also just stop everything. Like, these will most likely not get anything, which is uh, a damn shame, actually. Confirm that. You don't need money anymore. None of my stations need cash. So don't, don't be alarmed, you know. You can just easily just take that away. Uh, this one is actually getting shield components. Uh, we have 1.6 right now. There is trade coming in. That's 48. This, this could go around a tiny bit more. 1.7. I'm going to wait until this uh, triggers while we take a look at this fella. Okay, it seems like the dude is away. Let's clear that order. He can go be his own boss again. Where are we currently for? Look at that planet. I seriously love the look of this game. I've been playing... Um, you probably know that I'm playing uh, Star Wars Interworlds as well. And it's been... It's been good fun, actually. Uh, I'm very happy that I started playing it. Anyways, so uh, we'll meet up with the POS, and most Entering likely system, uh, we will have the money for the starbase. Once we have a module, we can assign a manager and have a ship do supply runs. Uh, we'll see how that will go. How are these pilots doing? I've been having them explore. Hopefully they will level up a tiny bit. Okay, so we actually made it to Heretics, and I got in some more money, gave back all of the uh, the budget for getting the weapons and the shields. Uh, it seems that our POS is now equipped with shielding, which is absolutely great, I love that. So if we get some advanced electronics and third components in... Uh, then this base will be a bit more secure. Now also keep in mind that this base currently is having uh, four small containers. And if I were to break these down and build a medium container, it would have more storage. And we would uh, be left with leftover resources. So that is most likely going to be the next step in this endeavor. Just start building... Um, the base the way we want it to be. Like, I don't want this docking port to be as close. So what we'll do is, probably on this side, start with a cross connection and just split out and have a medium storage over there. Breaking these four down. So this would be built. And we'll see what is left uh, once we're done. For now, it's going to be uh, the Alliance Invitations. Let's set that to active. And let's see how, what this mission is all about. Now, this will be the absolute first time I've done this mission. So I'm extremely excited about that. The thing is, I don't know if I can do the entire mission in a medium ship. Like, I know that this ship above us that's sending this blue damn uh, long range scan. You need a small ship for it. Or you can dock with... Your, uh, how you call it again? Your spacesuit. Yeah, that is one of the things that you can do. Just go in with a spacesuit. But yeah, it's not always ideal. Like if you're under fire and you do not want your ship to be destroyed or the AI pilot to try to be a hero. Right, let's go and take a look what's going on. So my turrets are on. I don't think I need torpedoes for this. So we'll leave those off. Seems like the entire fleet is... Vanguard, wow. Wayfinder. Interesting. Let's take a look. I am delighted to see that everyone has made it. Explorer, please fall into formation to accommodate the remaining attendees. So many ships. I cannot believe we are actually here. Ready to witness something truly historic. It's a Terran ship, isn't it? The Terran Secret Service has been alerted to potential gate activity. The Intervention Corps has been ordered to undertake a threat assessment with regard to the potential impact on Sol territories. We can only guarantee everyone's safety as long as the expedition remains close to the Intervention Fleet. However, we advise everyone to stay clear of our firing arcs. Initial scans indicate some activity. We will need to get closer for a more thorough read on the situation. 
mission specialist. Approach the Cape Nacero interface with it to initialize a direct data stream for our onboard science team. Affirmative. Approaching the jump gate. Oh, they're using a gunboat for that, huh? Okay. Um, I, I won't. It probably won't go boom, right? Activating scanner. Accessing nacelle. Data stream is initialized. It looks like. Fall back. The energy is spiking. Battle stations. Prepare to engage. <coughs> engage what? Nothing? Mm. Well then. Intervention core. Prepare for traversal. The expedition shall follow close behind. Mission specialist. Remain here and establish an outpost to derive a complete reading of the gate's coordinate data. On it, sir. Godspeed, everyone. Oh, that was... I, I really like that. Um, I did. I'm a sucker for those things, man. This, this is genuinely the first time I'm seeing this. So, I, I, love, I love new stuff. Uh, let's go check out... Is this an S-Guard? Intervention core. Uh, they don't say, huh? Let's go, let's go check it out. No, this is a carrier, okay. I think. I think. It's been a while, guys. <laughs> Bear with me. Entering system. Watchful gaze. Watchful gaze. Ordinary scans indicate that this system is uninhabited. No sign of boron or any other kind of life. Biological or artificial. This cannot be true. Are you certain that the sensors are not malfunctioning? It has been so long. I really thought this might be the day I finally reconnect with my kin of the Finn. Take heart, Boron Exile. You may yet be a step closer to your reunion. Explorer, we need some detailed system mapping. The task is in your hands. Alright. There is much to learn here. What's that? Not the most exciting surprise. But preferable to the excitement of an unexpected Xenon Enclave, I suppose. Seems like something's up there. Okay. I guess. Uh, you know what? Let's go travel mode. We'll just fly... Like, somewhat towards the center, do a scan again. I'm just assuming that, uh... My long range scanner is just not big enough. So we'll go check this out. Luckily, we the ship is a lot faster than we uh, we had currently. But there's another thing that we potentially could do, and that is the first mission regarding modifying your ship. For the first mission, you kind of don't need any resources. All you need to do is just just follow through. It's a race, uh, getting containers, getting shot at, getting shot by, stuff like that. So, I knew I saw something. You know, I was flying over here looking in this, and I was like, oh, there's something over there. See? I, I'm sure I'm not insane. Let's take a look. How's money going? It's a bit tight at the moment because I used some of it. I gave a million to the station and it seems to get in Claytronic Energy and Hull Parts. Yeah, we could technically use our own station to do this right now. Let's pause for now and let's see who is going to be supplying us with energy cells. It's this guy. Energy cell 10. Uh, let's let's re delete that. Let's go to managing and we're going to be saying, hey, buddy, where's the energy cells? I need you to use the 
Energy distribution for that. Price is insane. My ship should probably take that bait and love every second of it. Hopefully. But we'll see that uh, once that happens. It's fake money anyways. Yeah, what is that? It's a Deliric ship. Awesome. Oh my! Could that be? The... By the Trinity, a boring vessel. My instinct says we should take a closer look. Yeah, same here. My instincts say the same thing. Well, it's kind of shot to shreds, so that doesn't bode well. Seems to be a large ship. Oh yeah, I love the designs. Get close enough. Your ship sensors are picking up a weak energy signature amongst the debris. Alright, let's check that out then. Assistant, I think you should suit up and investigate. Of course. <laughs> of Greetings. course you do. Greetings. Please don't. Whoa, that was almost Dragon. close call to my nose. Alright, let's let's go check out this uh, repair See console. Alright. Can we go from over here? I think not. Wait, 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 wait. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Hey, wait, wait, come on. Welcome. Oh, I like this quite a bit actually. Never liked spacesuit stuff, but it's uh, it's interesting. It's just like a data vault, actually. So this is just a cargo. And then a mine drops out. Uh, what's in that? Go check it out. Come on. Container. Slowly does it. Yeah, I'm not going to wait. Go back in the ship. Docking granted. New Mon Kyan, sir. Our team confirms that the Heretics and Gage does indeed contain the coordinates to the I'm Kingdom stuck. End system. Oh, this is bad. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Uh, stop spinning. Just after we received word from the Boron. Oh wow. Is it possible that their experiments were somehow related to the gate reinitialization? Coordinates are time irrelevant, but not conclusive. The fact of the matter is that this is definitely not Kingdom End. Interstellar messenger drones are not the fastest form of communication. We do not know what has occurred on the board. Can I help? Sir. Perhaps. Perhaps not. At this point, any further hypothesis would be mere speculation. Until we have more evidence, keep your ideas off general comms. If you must elaborate your theories, feel free to put them in writing. Empty space. Okay, let's see what's going on over in this exploration oh, circle. I think I am picking up. Oh no, never mind that. Nothing of interest here. 
This system's peculiar conditions make getting accurate readings rather troublesome. Uh, okay. Let's send out a, uh, a wave. So it's still about exploring this new system. Have an unidentified ship on an intercept trajectory. Awesome. This is our first contact in the newly opened network. I could be friendly. We have no idea of who they are. We come in peace. Intentions. Investigate, and if possible, make contact, but maintain vigilance. I'm extremely vigilant. Piranha. It's a piranha. Oh, province is adrift. It, it, that oh, that no. seems cool. He's uh is actually close by. Can we take a look oh, at him? Hi. Oh, no. Please, do not be afraid. I shall disengage my armament. Oh, yeah, I love that. Oh, this is going to be such a thumbnail. F yeah, I'm there we go. I'm so pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Incredible. Finally, contact with our aquatic allies. Bosota, are you receiving this? Moment, please. I am just finishing up some calculations. You're joking. What did you say? Deceiving me? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Bozo Tar, and I can barely recall another Boron face. I have been riven from my people for that long. Will you please deign to share your time with me? I am Lena T, adventurer extraordinaire. I would be delighted to spend time with you. As appointed delegate of the Alliance of the Word, please allow me to extend my greetings to you and your people. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Nilati. I do not have any official capacity as such, but it is marvelous to be seeing actual people from beyond the disconnected gates. How did you get here? Oh, Has the gate reopened? Are we connected once more? Oh, I knew it would have to happen eventually. What joyous news! Momentous oh, news indeed. Although we are less than clear on how this has occurred. There was speculation that the boron triggered the gate reinitialization. Messages from your scientists indicated that they were working on such a task. Please, can you direct us towards Kingdom End? You were in contact with Kingdom End? That is marvelous news. It has been decades since we were cut off. We have heard nothing in all that time. The severing of the connection with Nishala has been indescribably distressing for all of us. My system is in profound turmoil. I... I... To meet a fellow Boron after all these years is an incandescent joy. But to find that you, too, are cut off from the homeworld is a misery. More than you know, Bosota. We have all mourned this loss. Without access to Kingdom End, your Queen and Parliament, how do you govern yourselves? After the severance, there was a period of chaos, until a royal steward was appointed. I have had dealings with him. It would be my pleasure to make an introduction. All right. Do that. We must make haste. There is much to be discussed with your leadership. Follow me, you cavalcade of curious creatures. <laughs> okay. Um... society not headed by a queen? This is somewhat hard to fathom. Indeed, Bosotar. I wish that we could just say, like, follow. Separation. I doubt other species appreciate the biological depth of our harmonious societal interconnection. It was worse than it is now. It used to be that all our systems were isolated. Severed, not just from Kingdom End, the Queen, and Homeworld Nishla, but also from each other. Fortunately, several of our systems reconnected to each other eventually. But none received word from home. Reorganization became a necessity. The provinces adrift, as we call ourselves, were only ever intended to be temporary. But under the royal steward, it has grown into a comprehensive governing body. But some of us have never given up on Kingdom End. Your communication with the homeworld is momentous in the extreme. Not a soul in these systems has 
found evidence of where the Kingdom End even still exists. Yeah, a lot faster than I am, so... I'm going to be assuming that engines are better than the split. Interesting. I kind of want those engines then. If anything, you know, speed is always good to have also in dogfights. The faster your base speed, the harder for the enemy it is also to catch up. And they would also need to use travel drive or boost. Anyway, there's a new gate. Let's see what's the financial situation currently. It is going okay-ish. We can almost do all of that. Um, kind of... Uh, why are you not being delivered over here? Let's pause for a second. Let's take a look. This other plywood plant is currently filled. Station overview is selling to energy distribution. The problem it then has is we do not have a ship to distribute where are you going so that is one of the things that we need to do uh, we have a tiny bit of cash so building another freighter oh my god yeah here we go buy another ship do a medium one vanguard a uh, medium preset is 300,000. I'm actually going to be doing that. I know we make roughly... Uh, I feel like 3 million an hour right now. So that money will be well spent. Uh, let's go back on pause the game so we don't miss anything. Someone from beyond our realm. Surely this indicates that our reports are correct. The once dormant gate has indeed resumed its function and brought our province into alignment with our erstwhile allies. You must realize what this means. All the resources of the Commonwealth are now within reach. At True. long last, a chance to end the shortages. Go ship Pick up the pace. Awesome. I must warn you, the provinces adrift are not awash with the luxuries of the old kingdom. The pain of severance has been constant, but our economy has also suffered. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Someone's being attacked. Also, you go here, upgrade, repair. To distribution mark one, confirm, set that up. Who is being assaulted? Interesting. I am sure we saw that message. Uh Uh, the first Lardy, but this is 24 minutes ago. Wait, what? There was a message about that. I'm sure I saw that over here. Oh, well, whatever. The shortages of essential goods have cut deeply. Reconnection with the network may alleviate some of these issues, at least. See? There we go. Harassment by pilots. Vulture distribution mark. One, the EPF. Okay, well, we I will probably have to redo all of those names then. So he is part of one of these stations because they don't have other names. And it is the EPF. It's this guy who is being harassed by this pillager. There is a Taladi fighter over there. So I'm going to say... Escape. 
but I uh, will overwrite that. So he's going to be dropping out. And let's just hope things will go okay. Otherwise, he will go poof. And that's costing me money. Alright. How bad. So he is going in. I'm hoping this fighter is going to start shooting him. But we'll see. Currently, as long as he gets into traveling drive, nothing to worry about. Entering system, Baron Shores. Autopilot. Let's go autopilot. We actually have a defensive station over here. We are currently... I am actually taking a look at... I have this razor mouse and using the scroll button is quite annoying. Come on, get in travel mode, dude. This. You bring us guests, outsiders, with a fleet no less. Yes. What have you been up to? More than that, Royal Steward, I bring momentous news. The fleet, this paranoid led fleet, it came from the dormant gate in watchful gaze. They have communicated with Kingdom End. They have no Kingdom End gate, but they have communication. We are connected to the network once more. My word, the if. The delegation seeks an audience. May I? Yes, yes, of course. There is so much to discuss, so much to consider. Royal Steward, would it be in order for me to accompany the delegation? I am sure you have other things to do. Diplomacy <laughs> is not the same thrill as exploration. Please, Royal Steward, with your permission. Of course, Neela T. By all means, accompany the delegation. Uh, I don't think I can dock upon this. We'll see if I can actually duck up. Really made an impression on the expedition commander. I sense you are becoming more central to his plans. Join the delegation. Watch this royal steward. I have some experiments to attend to, though I shall keep an eye on you. All right. Before we do anything, let's uh, quickly check out. Oh, he's still alive, so that's a good thing. Uh, nothing died over here by the looks of it, so... Crisis averted on that bit. Can I dock? Out of docking range. No way. Guppy. Docking not Yeah, possible. I thought so. Yeah, you can dock the target by using a... Yeah, okay. Guess we'll have to go out of... Hello. That's the problem with a medium ship. Dragon. Guppy. The Guppy. Granted. The Guppy. What cool name. Love it. Let's go. There we go. My ropalium near explodes with the joy of welcoming esteemed visitors. This historic occasion is the first of its kind. I am Lita V, royal steward of the provinces adrift. On behalf of Her Majesty the Queen and as her loyal servant, it is my profound pleasure to welcome an emissary of the Perinid Empire. And once business is out of the way, I insist you join me on a more informal tour. Sure. Esteemed Royal Steward, Lita Wee, thank you for your most gracious welcome. You must forgive me. I, Numankaret, am no Empire Emissary. I represent the Alliance of the Word, a diplomatic forum and scientific organization funded by various races across the network. My, my. But do you have letters patent from the Empire? The provinces adrift are in dire straits. We must negotiate terms of assistance. I am compelled to reiterate, I do not speak for the Paranid authorities. Though we do bring news which may bring joy, we have been in communication with Kingdom End. Limited fragile communication, but communication nevertheless. Some months ago we received word from your homeworld. It was heartening to discover that the Boron Corps has survived the shutdown. 
and learn of their most ambitious endeavor. Their entire scientific resources are focused on understanding and manipulating Jumpgate technology. We humbly request your permission to investigate the dormant jump gates in your territory and to set up a scientific outpost in the region, should that be required. There are so many implications to consider. This really is momentous. I am afraid I must decline your request. For now, we cannot be precipitous. By the glistening waters of Nishala! I fail to understand. We ask for no more than your permission. We certainly have no wish to be a drain on your resources. Leader Wee, they are trying to connect us with Kingdom N. They have communications. Neela T, this obsession with finding home is entirely yours. Oh, he wants the power. You may have the luxury of gallivanting around the galaxy in search of miracles, but I, I have responsibilities. I have the welfare of billions of souls to consider. Our guests have already made clear that the outside network, with all its resources, has been unable to connect with our home world. The priority of this juncture is the welfare of our people, and I shall not be distracted from that. Honored host, we will of course expedite communications with the governments of the network. I am sure emissaries are preparing as we speak. Yet, if we could simply... Enough, please. I understand your request, but I do not think you understand what is at stake. Please have patience, but for now, the matter is settled. Outrageous! The Boron Queen's government itself is racing to reconnect, and you decline to facilitate? What kind of royal steward are you? Please! There is nothing to be gained from trading insults. This is absurd! Our work is of the utmost importance! Your obduracy is beyond me. I shall take my leave. Heading to the dock, awaiting pickup. Ah, not sure if you guys could hear that, but some of the voices we were on better. only on my left Why side. Indeed. The royal steward seems somewhat overwhelmed by the news. Of course he is. Maybe it's a good idea to just listen to him. Understanding his fears might help calm them. Who says we come in peace? Yeah, that double gate, that, that really is odd. So, we have a few locations where we need to go. Docking area. Let's go to the crew quarters first. Mediate between parties to find a solution. I'm going to be assuming that we can do this without bloodshed. The steward and I have had our differences in the past, but I had no idea he would be so stubborn. I am so very sorry you had to witness that embarrassingly discordant display. Leader we and I disagree on much, but he is not a bad person, you know? He is just... scared. Okay. Uh, what is he scared of? I think he is scared of falling short. He carries the weight of the expectations of the entire provinces. He wants to keep everyone safe, and I think he fears that your expedition will exacerbate an already dangerous situation. Yeah, I could be right though. Oh, you took note of that, did you? Time after time, I approach Leader Wee for the resources to find our way back home. But he has come to the conclusion that efforts spent on this endeavor come at an immediate cost to our people. I would hate for you to get the impression that I do not care for my fellow Boron here. Out on the fringes, I am truly seeking to make a difference for the people. Serving the Queen's subjects is a duty for me. You see... I do not like to draw too much attention to it, but I myself am the progeny of stranded minor royals. Before you bow or anything like that, <laughs> I am not part of the direct line of succession, and that is not how our monarchy works in any case. Yet, it drives me to find a path back home, for the people to once again delight in a reunited, merry realm. Uh, okay, your quest of home was an obsession? Oh. You took note of that, did Wait. you? Time after time, I approach Leader Wee. Okay, so we already had that, I think. To find our way back home. But he has come to the conclusion... Yeah, okay, immediate cost of people. ...come at an immediate cost to our people. I would hate for you to get the... Yeah, okay, uh, can we stop that conversation? Yes, there we go. So we already had that. So dangerous situations, yes, look at that. Yes, fraught with danger. The 
provinces lie uncomfortably close to Kark territory. When Sanctuary of Darkness it's Kark. first connected I've been to right all along. it triggered regular attacks. We barely managed to protect ourselves with the meager military that we could cobble together. Thankfully, the waves have calmed for now. The Kark incursions eventually ceased. All attempts to communicate with these enigmatic creatures have failed. So I would hesitate to call it a ceasefire. It is more of a lull in hostilities. As you can imagine, the situation remains rather fragile. Okay, so let's say goodbye Pleasant because travels. we've done both of them. Uh, let's talk to the other other dude. Now we're not going to be, if there's a decision that needs to be made, we're not doing that right now. I'm um, going to be waiting for you. I know that's it's possible that you choose like one of the other. So let's talk to him as well. The uh, royal steward. Actually, we're also flying, it seems. Uh, yeah, we are. And luckily, it seems my ship very awkwardly is in that bar. So we're slowly also <laughs> exploring um, the Boron territories, uh, which is quite cool. Uh, let's take a look at that ship that we made. The venture distribution is going to be trading for Commander Alpha. Hopefully, he will start supplying our new base with the energy parts that it needs. Now, the others have not arrived as well. We, now, we don't have uh, 600,000 yet, uh, but when that happens, it will happen. Anything Entering over here? System. Great Reef. No. Okay, so it definitely... The, oh, we have the advanced electronics. Okay, uh, this is the free Argon. Okay. Quickly take a look at that. You. So he is being arrested by... I'm going... Is it going to be the Corsair? Patrolling Behemoth... Okay, so not those two. Why, why would I be afraid of that? I wish there was an option like ignore, right? Just just don't do anything. Uh, but apparently there is none. There we go. He is indeed a buccaneer. So hopefully that will be shot to shreds. Let's talk to him and that will be the end of this episode. Ah, the silent one from our disappointing introduction. I'm a lot, yeah, I care about money. Um, perhaps that is a positive solution. Why are you in this situation? Let's start with that because this seems very important. From time to time, I spend the waking nights pondering the very same question. It would be misleading to cast blame for all our miseries on the Great Shutdown. In fact, when we were first riven from the wider network, the vast majority of our boron systems remained connected between themselves. Isolated from external threats, we commenced a new age of reflection and scientific endeavor. And while this period of peace brought the wealth of Kingdom M to fabulous new heights, we were not complacent. Resources were stockpiled throughout the Queendom, a precautionary measure. Oh, we thought we were prepared. Yet, in truth, we were far from it. We Boron are inherently connected to each other, you see? We thrive on a collective sort of innate affinity. Once that connection was uh, okay. severed, each system found itself in complete isolation. Things fell apart quite nearby. quickly, I'm afraid to say. Productivity collapsed catastrophically. Stockpiles were depleted far more oh, rapidly than Oh, this is good anticipated. news to my taladi ears. There was no way to replenish them. After years of disarray, Great Reef finally reconnected with barren shores. Later, it was joined by several other systems. The provinces adrift were founded, but by then the damage was done. We still lacked crucial resources. I contend that it was the collective psychological toll of the... He went boom. Okay, well, not much I can do about that. You know, he's gone. 
Uh, let's go bad ah, bit. The silent one yeah, okay, the I'm a silent one. Introduction. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about two. Um, if you could help, we could... To increase your standing? Or... Ah, or could you... Disappointing introduction. Or we could go with... What about the card threat? You start with that one, then... Uh, use force to resolve a, resolve this permanently. Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be making a decision right now. What I will do is I'll I'll, I'll stick on the ship. Uh, we have I have some stuff to do off camera as well for the campaign. Like we just lost the ship, we need to replenish that. Luckily, it's not the head of command, but this was a level two pilot, so that is ah, uh, it's a damn shame we lost number three over here. Uh, maybe I should actually use the escape. The Buccaneers are annoying the crap out of me. I'm thinking about maybe at some point setting up a small fleet, just hunting them down. The same way with the skill play pack. And it seems that we are indeed now filling in the energy cells using our newly acquired ship. Getting us, I think, enough cash to do that. This is a low amount. Very low, actually, for the trade fleet. But, you know, we'll uh, eventually get there. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. We are currently in the Great Reef. We've explored. Well, actually, we found three new assistants, lost the ship, and built a base. So, yeah, I think it's good progress. Anyways, have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.